and welcome back to a brand new episode of Day in the Bay. The aim for today's video is to use our ultimate range products to achieve the ultimate finish on Mark's Mustang. So, like I say, you want to get, kind of get a nice movement over it to get it a nice coverage. So once you've kind of give it a good overall coverage, you can then start going in, in between the spokes like that. Luckily, you've got nice open wheels, so it shouldn't be too hard to clean these. And then what we're going to do is let that dwell for a few minutes, and then we'll rinse them off, and then we'll start working on the bodywork. explain what we've done so far to achieve this ultimate finish on the car. So we've used our ultimate all-wheel cleaner to loosen up that dirt and grime from the wheels and the tyres and then we've moved on to our snow foam to give it that pre-wash before washing the car. So we've already deviated from the plan uh, but there's a reason. So this is the ultimate detailing video. We are showing you how to get the ultimate finish on your car using our ultimate range. Now, the reason we're not using our ultimate shampoo is because it contains wax. Now, we don't want to put wax on this car before we start detailing it. It's, it's a waste of product and a bit of time. But the reason we're going to advise using it in the future is because this shampoo will bond to your existing wax protection and prolong it and give it more gloss and more protection. So that's why we've kind of deviated from the plan and using the Wash Plus. When there's creative circumstances, <laughs> deviate from the plan. Be a bit free, be a bit out there. Whoa. Happy detailing is what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> we apply the shampoo directly to the mitt, like this. And the key is to do one panel at a time. Just kind of really work it in, give it a deep clean. Like this. And then into our yellow bucket, we're gonna clean out the wash mitt. Because every time we want to hit the car with water, we want to make sure it's clean, uncontaminated water. So we're going to clean the wash mitt on the grit guard, give it a good rinse out, back into the fresh water bucket, and then reapply the shampoo. Now, each time you do a panel, give it a rinse off, and then move on. Nice and easy. a good old shake out just to remove any kind of loose fibers um, and then there's a million and one ways to dry a car it doesn't really matter um, what I like to do is kind of get it nice and folded and just gently wipe the surface and then just move on um, and the good thing about folding it is you can unfold it to a, essentially one towel becomes eight so it just makes your life a lot easier when it comes to moving around such a big car um, just like I say don't overwork the surface just give it a nice gentle wipe and then we'll move on to the paint correction. So we'll get you started on the roof. Use the regular quick detailer. Now this is going to allow the clay bar to, to glide over the surface. Now the reason we use clay bar is to remove any above surface contaminants that are making the paint feel rough to the touch. Now we want to get the ultimate finish on this car, so the first step before even touching it with any kind of polished compound or wax is to remove those above surface contaminants because we don't want to push them into the paint. So clay bar won't change how it looks, but it'll make it feel 10 times better, make it feel like glass. So you want to get it nice and wet on the surface. You can even lubricate the clay bar as well. And all you're going to do is fingertip pressure only and just nice quick cross-hatch movement. So we're going to go up and down, then left and right, which is something that we're going to do with pretty much every process we do. So you're not overworking the surface, just fingertip pressure only, and just working it like this. So you make sure you're nice and flat on the paint, and then just work it over.
So to start achieving this ultimate finish on the car, um, we're going in with our ultimate compound. Now this is my go-to kind of ultimate paint revival tool. This is gonna remove the swirls and scratches and really start bringing that clarity back to the paint before applying the polish for the gloss and the wax for protection. Now, we've got Mark using the machine on the bonnet and what we're gonna do is show you how you can use it by hand as well to achieve a, a fantastic finish on slightly smaller areas or areas that you don't want to use a machine. So we're gonna use the super micro abrasives within the Ultimate Compound along with our even coat pad to gently work the surface area to bring back that clarity and remove any of those light swirls and scratches. So it's not just the paint that's getting the ultimate treatment. We worked on the interior using our ultimate leather balm to gently clean the, the leather, condition it, and give it some protection. And then we did the same for the dash and the plastic trim areas using our ultimate interior detailer. Now this is gonna gently clean the surfaces and put a nice layer of protection on there as well. So now we've done the hard work of reviving the paint, we're gonna start refining it using our ultimate polish. Now this is super slick and full of good oils for the paint. They're gonna feed into that and give it a real wet look gloss. Now we're using this with the machine as well, using our polishing disc. This is gonna gently just work the surface and remove any hazing left behind from the compounding. Now if you find that working on different areas of the car you're getting different results, just make small changes that are gonna help you along the way. Some areas might not like the kind of rich polish on a machine kind of at speed. So just do it by hand and you might get a more gentle approach that's gonna give you a finer finish. So we're polishing this scoop by hand because we noticed that as we were using it with the machine, no matter what we did, it was leaving kind of tracer ghost lines. Now, if you're getting this on softer areas of the car or areas that aren't steel or maybe plastic or trim or anything like that, all you need to do is kind of like change your approach. So that makes little changes by doing it by hand because it's less pressure on the paint and less heat. So we're just doing it by hand to gently feed the polish into the paint then taking it straight off. We've done the hard work of um, kind of reviving the paint with the compound. Then we start refining that with the, the glossy kind of ultimate polish oils. Now we want to protect that because none of those processes will protect the paint. They, they'll enhance it and refine it, but we want to put that layer of protection on there, especially through the winter months, and just kind of maintain that gloss. So with that, we want to use our ultimate wax. Now I love using this on dark cars because it's fully synthetic, which means it hazes till clear and gives a darker color. That real wet look but also it's fully synthetic with me, which means you get a longer lasting protection and it's super soft to remove and use less product. So it's a nice win-win on that one. So to use the wax, we're gonna do it by hand because mm -hmm. that's my personal preference. So less really is more. So pinch the top of your pad, put it on the wax, half a turn. That's gonna confidently do that whole half of the bonnet for you. So what you wanna do per section, just draw some lines over it like this and then just gently do one pass over these lines. The reason is, these lines are gonna to top up the pad and make sure you get an even coverage of wax on the surface. Now all we're doing is gently applying it, one thin coat, we don't wanna overwork it, we're not, you know, we've done the hard work, we've worked the surface, now we just wanna dress it really and give it that real deep gloss and protection. Once you've done an area, that's it. Move on to the next one, draw some lines, and then keep doing your tight circles.
getting on the wax to cure. We're gonna have a recap on what we've done so far. So while the car was outside, we used our ultimate all-wheel cleaner to degrease and clean the wheels and tires. We then moved on to using our ultimate snow foam to kind of pre-wash the car and get off those loose dirt and grind contaminants. After that, we used our wash plus to give the car a real deep scrub before bringing it into the bay, drying it off and then using our clay system to remove those above surface contaminants. Once that was done, we then moved on to rectifying the clarity and the shine of the paint by using our ultimate compound to remove those scratches and swirls. We then moved on to our ultimate polished. We used the, the slick polishing oils within that product to refine the paint after compounding and give it a real deep gloss. We're now waiting for our ultimate wax to cure. Now we've used this because it's great on dark cars because it's fully synthetic. Gives it a nice wet look and long lasting protection. So the best way of checking if the wax is ready to come off, just give it a simple swipe. And if it's clear like this, it's ready to come off. But if it's cloudy, you just leave it a bit longer. For the, for your trims down here. So what you want to do is degrease them first. So apply a small amount of MPC, our multi-purpose heavy duty cleaner, to the towel, then give that kind of plastic trim a nice degrease. Mm -hmm. And that's going to leave it nice and bare. So when we put the ultimate black on there, it gives it a nice kind of flat bed to sit on and give it some real nice protection. So now the side skirts have been uh, degreased. We've removed any kind of dressings that may be on there, any kind of dirt and grime. We're going to use our ultimate black. Now, despite its name, this can be used on grey plastics as well. What it's going to do is kind of revitalise any kind of tie colours, but also give it that UV protection and long-lasting protection, which is going to keep the colour for longer. All you need is our even coat applicator pad, small amount of ultimate black, and then gently just feed it into the surface. So that's how easy it is to use our ultimate black to provide your exterior plastics with some UV protection. Now if you find that the finish is a bit too glossy for you, it's a bit too slick, all you need to do is grab a clean microfiber towel and give it a single wipe over for an even finish. So for our final piece of ultimate protection, we're going to be using our ultimate fast finish. Now this is an easy to apply sealant for the paint and it's a great final touch for any detail. All you need to do is a light spray on a towel and wipe the surface. And that's just going to put a nice fine film of protection on the car. No buffering required, just let it flash off and let it do its thing. So if you find yourself after waxing with some leftover residues or anything like that, you can use our ultimate detail to safely remove that and also provide a little extra gloss.
video. So we've showed you how to use our ultimate range to get the ultimate finish on your car. Now to finish things off, we've used our ultimate tire shine to give the tires a real slick, deep black look. And this video was all about showing you how you can use our ultimate range to get the ultimate finish. Now these are products you can regularly get in your local stockists. We've not showed you how to do anything overly technical or overly professional. These are things you can do at home. Remember to like, share and subscribe and tap that notification bell to be notified on when the next Meguiar's video is out, whether or not it's another day in the bay, products in detail, or Tom vs. Dale. Happy detailing.